Today's reading begins in Isaiah, chapter 6, starting in verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, with two he flew. One called to another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of armies. The whole earth is full of his glory. The foundations of the thresholds shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I live amongst a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of armies." Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. He touched my mouth with it, and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is taken away, and your sin forgiven. I heard the Lord's voice, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. He said, Go and tell this people, You hear indeed, but don't understand. You see indeed, but don't perceive. Make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their heart, and turn again and be healed. Then I said, Lord, how long? He answered, Until cities are waste without inhabitant, houses without man, the land becomes utterly waste, and the Lord has removed men far away, and the forsaken places are many within the land. If there is a tenth left in it, that also will in turn be consumed, as a terebinth, and as an oak whose stump remains when they are cut down, so the holy seed is its stump. In the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, went up to Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. David's house was told, Syria is allied with Ephraim. His heart trembled, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the forest tremble with the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out now to meet Ahaz, you and Shear Jashub your son, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field. Tell him, Be careful, and keep calm. Don't be afraid, neither let your heart be faint, because of these two tales of smoking torches, for the fierce anger of Rezin and Syria, and of the son of Remaliah, Because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah have plotted evil against you, saying, Let's go up against Judah, and tear it apart, and let's divide it amongst ourselves, and set up a king within it, even the son of Tabeel. This is what the Lord God says, It shall not stand, neither shall it happen. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezin. Within sixty-five years Ephraim shall be broken in pieces, so that it shall not be a people, The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. If you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. The Lord spoke again to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I won't ask. I won't tempt the Lord. He said, Listen now, house of David. Is it not enough for you to try the patience of men, that you will try the patience of my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin will conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. He shall eat butter and honey when he knows to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child knows to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land whose two kings you abhor shall be forsaken. The Lord will bring on you, on your people, and on your father's house, days that have not come, from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of Assyria." It will happen in that day that the Lord will whistle for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt, and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. They shall come, and shall all rest in the desolate valleys, in the clefts of the rocks, on all thorn hedges, and on all pastures. In that day the Lord will shave with a razor that is hired in the parts beyond the river, even with the king of Assyria, the head and the hair of the feet, and it shall also consume the beard. It shall happen in that day that a man shall keep alive a young cow and two sheep. It shall happen that because of the abundance of milk which they shall give, he shall eat butter, for everyone will eat butter and honey that is left within the land. 
It will happen in that day that every place where there were a thousand vines worth a thousand silver shekels will be for briars and thorns. People will go there with arrows and with bow, because all the land will be briars and thorns. All the hills that were cultivated with the hoe, you shall not come there for fear of briars and thorns, but it shall be for the sending out of oxen and for sheep to tread on. The Second Letter of Paul to the Corinthians Chapter 11, beginning in verse 16. I say again, let no one think me foolish. But if so, yet receive me as foolish, that I also may boast a little. That which I speak, I don't speak according to the Lord, but as in foolishness, in this confidence of boasting. Seeing that many boast after the flesh, I will also boast. For you bear with the foolish gladly, being wise. For you bear with a man if he brings you into bondage, if he devours you, if he takes you captive, if he exalts himself, or if he strikes you on the face. To my shame I speak as though we had been weak, yet in whatever way anyone is bold, I speak in foolishness, I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the offspring of Abraham? So am I. Are they servants of Christ? I speak as one beside himself. I am more so in labors more abundantly, in prisons more abundantly, in stripes above measure, and in deaths often. Five times I received forty stripes minus one from the Jews. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I suffered shipwreck. I have been a night and a day in the deep. I have been in travels often, perils of rivers, perils of robbers, perils from my countrymen, perils from the Gentiles, perils in the city, perils in the wilderness, perils in the sea, perils amongst false brothers, in labor and travail, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, and in cold and nakedness. Besides those things that are outside, there is that which presses on me daily, anxiety for all the assemblies. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is caused to stumble, and I don't burn with indignation? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that concern my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, He who is blessed forevermore, knows that I don't lie. In Damascus, the governor under King Aretas guarded the Damascene's city, desiring to arrest me. I was let down in a basket through a window by the wall, and escaped his hands. Psalm 54, beginning in verse 1. Save me, God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, God. Listen to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me. Violent men have sought after my soul. They haven't set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the one who sustains my soul. He will repay the evil to my enemies. Destroy them in your truth. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all trouble. My eye has seen triumph over my enemies. Proverbs chapter 23, starting in verse 1. When you sit to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before you. Put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. Don't be desirous of his dainties, since they are deceitful food. Mm -hmm.